All right. So earlier this month, the now former host of the APM Hour on Fox News brought his viewers a story that sounded almost like it had been designed in a lab to confirm their worst fears, biases about America's urban hellholes. You see, the state of our cities has been a near constant theme for the now fired Tucker Carlson and the rest of his former network. They run this dystopian stuff day in and day out, grainy security camera footage of urban crime and disorder like a hellscape on an endless loop. Their coverage is almost obsessive, neurotic, really, to the point where if you watch Fox News, you will likely become convinced that basically every major city in America, without exception, is an apocalyptic slum. From coast to coast, crime is exploding in Democrat-run cities. Lawlessness in blue cities continues. In Portland and in Seattle and Chicago, there's all hell is breaking loose in New York. Where people are regularly shot, beaten, and robbed in public. Every city, it is out of control. Chicago has become a sanctuary for violent, depraved criminals. San Francisco evolved into a hellhole. L.A. County, this is a lawless hellhole. Dangerous, filthy hellhole. I, I am getting the facts out of day. this hellhole. Fox is particularly obsessed with the city of San Francisco. In part, I think, that's because they see it as this embodiment of liberalism. It's the hometown of former Speaker Nancy Pelosi, as well as, incidentally, the birthplace of Tucker Carlson. Now, to be clear, San Francisco absolutely has its problems. It, it has a homelessness crisis, an acute one, nearly 40,000 people lacking shelter on any given night. It's also dealing with a high level of what you might call public disorder, including drug overdoses and public drug use and lots of folks, um, you know, in the street. I think many people who live in San Francisco and elsewhere are concerned about the break-ins, concerned about public disorder, and I don't think those concerns are crazy. But the coverage of San Francisco from right-wing sources like Fox News is wildly overheated. So here's that made-in-a-lab sounding story I mentioned about a former San Francisco city official who was allegedly brutally attacked by a homeless person. So how's San Francisco doing? Under good leadership, San Francisco would be thriving. But under Gavin Newsom's leadership, well, here's what's happening in San Francisco. Friends identify the victim as Don Carmignani, a former San Francisco fire commissioner. He suffered a fractured skull, broken jaw, and lots of lacerations to his face and head. Carmignani showed up to his mother's place after they refused to move. Soon they picked up and put down near the corner laundromat. Carmignani confronted them, and that, they say, is what provoked the brutal beating. Now, I should note, this story came on the heels of a highly publicized murder that you might have seen of a San Francisco tech executive. Now, that also got huge play on Fox News. Tucker claimed that murder was a totally random act of violence in a lawless city. Now, as it turned out, the truth was a little different. The victim and his killer knew each other. They had a personal dispute, in fact. But in Tucker's world, the beating, this beating, of the former fire commissioner was just yet another example of the city of San Francisco out of control. And it wasn't just the fired 8 p.m. host who highlighted this story. Graphic video out of San Francisco. Former fire commissioner Don Carmignani was brutally beaten with a metal pipe. His attacker seen wielding the crowbar in the streets after the attack. His friends say he was attacked after he tried to get some homeless people to move from outside his mother's house. He says he's releasing the video to raise awareness about the crime and chaos in that city. Some officials say it's a problem of perception rather than reality, but the city's former fire commissioner would likely beg to differed. He was just minding his own business when outside of his mom's house he got whacked in the head. Now, let's take a closer look at the video of this incident, the video that Fox News played over and over. This is the footage that Don Carmignani made public himself. And it does clearly show a brutal assault. Watch the upper left corner of your screen where Carmignani, dressed in black, runs into view. He turns to face his assailant, the man you see in red. That is 24-year-old Garrett Doty, who begins hitting him repeatedly in the upper body with a long metal object. They appear to exchange words in between blows. There it is again. Carmignani puts his hand up, seemingly trying to protect himself. Eventually, a bloodied Carmignani turns and runs away down the sidewalk with Doty falling behind. Carmignani and his lawyers later released more video of the incident. The clip, this clip appears to be a continuation of that last one. Carmignani running down the sidewalk as Doty chases him and hits him from behind with the metal pipe. 
Another video shows Dodie walking up to a garbage can on a sidewalk, lifting the top and pulling out the long metal object, presumably the same weapon he later uses to strike Don Carmignani. He proceeds to swing it around a few times in the street as if practicing. And a different angle that looks to be shot on a cell phone shows Carmignani and Doty tussling at a gas station. Doty is swinging that same metal pipe as they shuffle around each other. Carmignani tips over a trash can. Doty trips and falls off the curb at one point before he gets back up and hits Carmignani in the torso and then the head. So that is, that is a lot of footage. And this is a story that Don Carmignani and Fox News told, that a homeless man, Garrett Doty, picked up a metal pipe from a trash can and chased Carmignani around the streets of San Francisco. And make no mistake, it was a brutal attack. It really did happen. It left Carmignani with a fractured jaw and skull. He needed emergency surgery and more than 50 stitches. And his attacker, Garrett Doty, was arrested, charged with assault with a deadly weapon and battery causing serious bodily injury. But now we know there's one bit of video missing. Fox only told half of the story. The full story began before any of those videos started rolling. This new footage released by the public defender on Doty's case is where they say the encounter with Don Carmignani actually began. You see a man who, according to Doty's attorneys, is Carmignani, walking down the sidewalk, wielding a can of what appears to be bear spray. He approaches Doty off screen, and Doty leaps into the frame, running away from Carmignani. The two men then seem to exchange words before Doty continues to walk away down the street with Carmignani following him. So according to the video and the public defender, this is where the story actually began. This is the key context of what happened before everything. They play it on Fox News. According to Doty and his lawyers, Carmignani sprayed him with bear repellent, and that is why he pulled the metal pipe out of the trash can and chased Carmignani with it, striking him repeatedly is pursuing Mr. Doty, who is running away. And the first thing that Mr. Doty does when he realizes it's Mr. Carmignani coming at him is he ducks out of the way with his coat covering his head, implying he knows and has been subjected to the violence of the bear spray in prior incidents. Wait a second, prior incidents? There was more evidence made public by Doty's lawyer showing that someone has been going around this very neighborhood for years spraying homeless people with chemical spray. And they believe that person is Don Carmignani. A public defender also released a second video from November 2021 showing a different seemingly unprovoked attack on an unhoused person which she alleges is related. He sprays with a massive can of bear spray, the same weapon used in the Doty incident. Public defender Clay Hathaway claims they have reports of seven other bear spray attacks on homeless people within a four block radius of Carmignani's home in the Marina District. But there was never an arrest or any citations in those incidents. Carmignani's attorneys say it's not their client in the bear spray video and vehemently deny their client being involved in any prior incidents. Now, as that reporter said, Don Carmignani denies he ever sprayed Doty or anyone else with bear spray. So if these allegations from the public defender are true, the story that Fox News presented to its audience as a brutal and random attack by a homeless person would actually be the story of a guy running around San Francisco spraying homeless people with bear spray and getting beaten up by one of the people he sprayed. Now, to their credit, Fox News has updated their audience about these new revelations. But in keeping with their alternate universe of facts, they managed to find someone who would turn it around in favor of Don Carmignani. Evidently, Don sprayed, uh, pepper sprayed the homeless guy to get him away from the stoop. And that's when this conflict happened. They might actually now charge uh, Carmenelli, Carmenelli, uh with some type of uh, charge for pepper spraying the homeless guy because I guess it's his response. Yeah, actually, what happened was uh, Don ended up spraying himself with it. He did not spray the homeless people with it, sprayed himself with it, which is why in one of those videos you see him with his hands above his face in a defensive position like he is blind. He's actually blinded by the, uh, the pepper spray um, that, uh, uh, that was sprayed, and that's when he went running down the street. Obviously, Tucker Carlson himself won't be correcting the record on this story because he doesn't have a show anymore. 
But it's a good reminder that much of the things that Tucker Carlson did on air for the last few years were far worse than whatever nasty things he might have said about his bosses in private text messages.